further differentiation. In this video, we will focus on the product rule. You will find this on page 471 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. The product rule and later on we will do the quotient rule. In chapter 6 we learned the basics of differentiation. In this chapter we will extend on that basic knowledge of differentiation. So it is important to revise chapter 6 before you start with this chapter. But let's look at the product rule. Consider this function. How do we find its derivative? We cannot differentiate each factor separately. Neither can we expand to, to multiply. If it was just two brackets, that would be all right. So before differentiating each term separately. So as a result, we need to learn another differentiation rule. And that is called the product rule. So if u and v, that's the two brackets, of functions of x, then d dx uv will be u dv over dx plus v du over dx. So it's like we will first just rewrite, differentiate the other one, then rewrite this one and differentiate the other one, which we will, I will show you now. So if I have this example, I will first just rewrite the first bracket and I differentiate the second bracket. And then plus, plus, remember it's plus, and then I will rewrite the second bracket and I will differentiate the first bracket. So you remember the product rule like this. So it's the first function multiply the first, meaning the first bracket, the derivative of the second function, plus the second function multiply the derivative of the first function. But always best is to look at an example. So let's look at this example. Let's just going to move it up a little bit. Okay. So basically here, I'm going to just rewrite the first bracket and I'm showing you I will differentiate the second. Then I will rewrite the second bracket and I will differentiate the first bracket. And that's the product rule. Okay, so if I differentiate this, so plus I rewrite, I differentiate, I get this, negative 3 plus 2x. And now I can just multiply it out and I can just add up my like terms. So what was the other method? Because it was just two plain brackets, I could have first multiply out just that bracket. So it's this one times this one, this one times this, this times this, times this, times this, times, and I add up all my like terms. And it would have given me exactly the same answer. And then I differentiate, and then it's exactly the same. Okay, but it's important, especially if you work with a root, that you know this rule. Let's go to the next page. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do try now one, number A, so just the first one, and what will we do, and D. And again, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number A. I'm going to first write it very nice for you, so just to help you a little bit. So let's first write down the function. Okay, so if we're going to differentiate, we're going to say dy by dx, and this, we're first going to write down just the first bracket. And then we remember we're going to say d over dx. That means we're going to differentiate the second bracket. And then we're going to add, okay, and I'm just going to move it a little bit because then we are going to rewrite the second bracket just rewrite it and then we're going to differentiate oh, okay. I'm just going to put a small multiply and then we're going to differentiate 
that bracket. I have to storm move it a little bit because it's going to be x squared minus 2x plus 6. And that is going to, okay, so rewrite this bracket. Differentiate this bracket. Rewrite this bracket, the second one. And differentiate this bracket. And now we're just going to multiply out. So it's going to be 3x to the power of 4. If I multiply, this is negative 6x to the power of 3 plus 18x squared. And now we're going to multiply that bracket out. So this is going to give me 2x to the power of 4 minus 2 x to the power of 3 minus 8x plus 8. And now we're just going to look for the like terms. Like, like. Like, like. Oh, that's a long one. I don't want to make it so long. I like to grab the sign. And um, square, let's see, there's a square. There's no, and that one is on their own. Okay, I think that's fine. For one, this is on its own, and that one. So if we add it up, we are going to get, so this is going to get 5x to the power of 4 minus 8x to the power of 3. And then just rewrite this one. 18x squared minus 8x plus 8. And again, you can multiply this bracket out and then differentiate it and see if you get exactly the same result. I think just before the video's sake, I'm going to do it. So let's just multiply that out. So if you were multiplying that out, it would have been giving you x to the power of 5 minus 4x squared minus 2 x to the power of 4 plus 8x plus 6x to the power of 3 minus 24. Okay. And if I'm going to differentiate that then, I'm going to get 5x to the power of 4 minus, um, okay, let's just first add up, okay, before I differentiate, just want to add up my like terms first. Okay, so that would be x to the power of 5. Um, actually, it was all right, but I'm just going to um, put the correct order. Plus, oh, sorry, minus 2x to the power of 4 plus 6x to the power of 3 minus 4x squared plus 8x minus 24. Okay, my order is now correct. dy by dx, it's 5x4 minus 8x3 plus 18x squared minus 8x plus 8. And if you check, if you check, you will see that this is exactly the same as that. Okay, but it's not necessary. I just wanted to show you the first one. I will not do it even with the second one. Okay, let's do number D. Number D. Now in this one, I'm not going to write it. So just because it's quite a long sum, my space is a little bit limited. In the beginning, it's good to write it, but I think after the second or a few, you can just start doing it. Okay, so dy by dx. Now remember, rewrite the first bracket. Just rewrite it. Differentiate the second bracket. 
18x minus 2. Then, remember it's always plus, okay? Then rewrite, okay, rewrite the second bracket. It's better to write it here in front. Just want to move it a little bit because my space is a bit limited. And then differentiate the first bracket. So it's going to be 2x plus 3. And now I can multiply out. So this multiply this is going to be 18x to the power of 3 minus 2x squared plus, that's going to give me 50. 18 times 3, that's going to be 54. 18 times 3, 54 plus 54 x squared minus 6x plus 10 times 5, 90x minus 10. Okay, it's, it's quite a long sum. Okay. Luckily, it's a positive. I multiply out, so it's 18x to the power of 3 plus 27x squared minus 4x squared minus 6x. I'm still running. <laughs> okay, so let's just see. It was it was that one, then it was that one, and then it was this one, and then it was this one. Okay, minus 6x, and then it was minus 12x. Minus 18. Okay. I'm going to move it still a little bit. And now I'm just going to find my like. So like, like. Like, like, like. I'm going to go to another color. Oh, there's another x squared. Like, all the x squared. Okay, and then like, 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 like. I'm just going to do this with the last ones. So if I'm going to start with this one, I am this going to be just 18 x to the power of 3. Then it's just going to be negative 2 plus 54 plus 18. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not with like. So it's negative 2 plus 54 plus 27 minus 4 equals and that's going to be 75 I will now see if I skip oh I see I skip, skipped one and you also see that that was that 18 plus 18 luckily at the end you see you skipped it I marked it so nicely okay so it was 36 Okay, and then um, this one is going to be negative 6 plus 90 minus 6 minus 12 equals. And that's going to be uh, minus 12. So let's see negative 6. I just want to control it. So negative 6 plus 90 minus 6 minus 12 and that's 66. So it's plus 66x, and then that will be negative 28. Okay, and there is your final answer.